Hello and welcome to Tech Week in View, where we take the biggest stories of the week, digest them, spit them out, and let you know what we think. Stay tuned. This week, Barack Obama became the 44th President of the United States of America, and with it, showing that the digital world is finally here. Why? Well, basically, you didn't have to tune into a TV in your living room to catch all the action. Everybody from CNN, Sky News, Fox, BBC all had streaming, some in HD, while the likes of Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, Photosynth and Google all got on the action, providing images, tweets, up-to-minute coverage and everything as it goes. Pretty impressive stuff. I mean, Flickr's numbers, for example, 30,000 pictures from the inauguration day just shows that we've finally gone very much into a digital world. So we're so ahead of the game here at Megawatt Sometimes, we're actually bringing you a comment on a news story that hasn't even officially announced yet. That's right, Philips on the 29th of February will officially unveil a 29 by 1 ratio 50 inch LCD television to the UK. Why? What does it do? Well, the idea is that when it comes to watching home cinema movies that are filmed at the 29 to 1 ratio, so stuff like Star Wars, for example, you'll lose the black bars at the top and bottom of the screen, giving you a fuller, more immersive experience. All sounds great, but we're just not sure how it's going to cope with EastEnders. No. No. Anyway, we're going to be bringing you full details of the announcement next week on the 29th when it finally happens and we get all the skinny on what's going on. Stay tuned. The internet suffered some bad news this week. It turns out the reader reviews that you've been enjoying and finding actually quite useful on the likes of Amazon and Play might not actually be written by people who've used the product. Belkin, the company that sells network routers, PC peripherals, has been found to actually be paying people to write five-star reviews. Fantastic, one said. Amazing, the other. But they'd unfortunately never really seen the product. It's a shame because it now tarnishes reader reviews across the web from all guises. Can you really trust them? Is it just the PR or marketing man getting excited, trying to promote his own product? We'll never really be able to tell, and it's just a bad thing for all of us. Megawatt. Right, you Twitter, I Twitter, we all Twitter. Well, not all of us Twitter, but probably by the time you watch this, you probably will be Twittering because you'll have worked out that it's an exciting buzzword place to be, and it's all very groovy. When Philip Schofield on this morning starts telling people that he's Twittering and that everybody should get on board, you know that suddenly it's hit the mainstream. And that's because it has. I mean, Twitter is everywhere. PocketLint has a Twitter feed. You can follow us, tell us you know, what we're doing news-wise. Jonathan Ross has a Twitter feed. Stephen Fry has 30,000 people following him on his Twitter feed. It's all big, it's all exciting, but do you really need it? Well, it allows you to watch life whiz past your mobile phone, your desktop computer at incredibly high speed, which has its pluses and its downsides. But the microblogging service that only allows you to type 140 characters is here. It's hit the mainstream. Stats already show that it's up tenfold in traffic terms from last year. And as I said, with Philip Schofield, that's it. Everybody's going to be Twittering. So stay Twittered, Twitters. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Why don't you tune in next time for more Tech Week in View. I'm Stuart Miles. This is Megawatt TV. Thanks for watching.